Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft is testing our next optional update for Windows 11 23H2, where the update is now being finalized in the release preview channel, which is KB5064080. And because it is now being finalized in that last week of this month, the update will roll out to Windows 11 23H2. Now, because 23H2 is reaching its end of support in November, I'll leave a video for that linked. The updates that are rolling out are not really pushing out too many front-facing features for the operating system anymore. I think Microsoft is mainly focusing now on stability with 23H2 and keeping things going until the end of support. Now, as I mentioned with my previous video on the optional update in final preview for Windows 10. To some degree or the other, Microsoft has already rolled out the new file transfer feature to Windows 10 and Windows 11, which helps you to basically transfer your data between two PCs if you are um, maybe installing a new device or setting up a new device. And as mentioned, full version is still coming soon, so this isn't working 100% yet. But in regards to this, there is one new feature for 23H2, with Microsoft saying that Windows Backup for Organizations is now generally available, where you can now get seamless device transitions with enterprise-grade backup and restore. And the solution, Microsoft says, helps sustain productivity with minimal disruption, ensuring business continuity and organizational resilience. So that's the only new feature that's been listed for 23H2 in the next optional update. Now, I'm just going to go through a couple of the fixes, not all of them, just some of them, just to kind of inform you as to what is getting patched in the next update. Now, first of all, they fixed an issue where the removable storage policy didn't correctly block external devices such as USB flash drives and memory sticks. There's a family safety fix where there was an issue where the ask to use approval prompt didn't appear when blocked apps were opened. And then for File Explorer, we get two fixes that are rolling out. The first fix for File Explorer is that the File Explorer might unexpectedly only display a single folder for an example, desktop, rather than the expected content with recent files and more. And then the second fix for File Explorer is syncing more SharePoint sites to File Explorer might slow performance when navigating folders or opening the context menu. And then for File System, Microsoft has addressed an issue in the Resilient File System, REFS where enabling deduplication and compression simultaneously could occasionally cause the system to stop responding. So that's quite an important fix. And then for input, there are two fixes. The first addresses an issue where certain extended Unicode characters, such as rare Chinese symbols, appeared as blank spaces or incorrect symbols in Windows text boxes. And the second input fix addresses an issue with the Chinese simplified input method editor where some extended characters appeared as empty boxes. And then the next fix is also rolled out for Windows 10 where there's a fix for Narrator where the update addresses an issue with Narrator incorrectly reading the name of the Enhanced Facial Recognition Protection checkbox under the Facial Recognition Windows Hello setting. And then two more just to mention for this video. The update addresses an issue where Wi-Fi might not reconnect automatically after a group policy update. So that's also an important fix. And then the last one to mention, Microsoft has fixed an issue where cameras didn't appear during remote sessions after being added or removed. So as mentioned at the beginning of this video, not too much in regards to front-facing features with Windows 11 23H2, but that's more or less what we can expect to see rolling out with KB5064080, which is 
our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 23H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.